Hi. Now in this video I want to show you how you can go about finding the acute angle, let's say theta, between two straight lines. And let's say those lines have the form y equals m1x plus c and y equals m2x plus c, where m1, m2 are the respective gradients of each line. Well it can be shown that the tan of the angle theta is given by the modulus of m1 minus m2 all divided by 1 plus m1 m2 and it doesn't really matter if you put m2 minus m1 because we're taking the modulus we're always going to get the positive value. Now I'm giving you this formula here without any proof just want to show you how to use it if you want proof of this then do take a look at the next video. Now here's an example you might like to try. We've got to find the acute angle theta between the lines L1 with equation y equals 3x minus 2 and the line L2 with equation 2x minus 3y plus 3 equals 0. So in order to do this we've got to get the respective gradients. So for line L1 we know that y equals 3x minus 2 and it's already in the form mx plus c so from this it follows that we could say m1 is equal to 3 and if we take the second line l2 for this one we need to make y the subject so rearranging this making y the subject you should find you get y equals 2 thirds x and then plus 1 so from this we can take the second gradient m2 to be equal to two thirds. And so applying our formula here we can see that therefore the tan of angle theta is equal to the modulus then of the difference between the gradients so that would be three minus two thirds all divided by one plus the product of the gradients, that's 3 times 2 thirds. And this comes to 7 ninths, so you've got the modulus of 7 ninths, which will be 7 ninths. If you did this the other way around, 2 thirds minus 3, what happens here is you end up with the modulus of negative 7 ninths, but it's still going to be 7 ninths when you take the positive value. So it doesn't matter then which way round you do this. So just finishing this off then we've got that therefore theta will be equal to the inverse tan of 7 ninths. And if you have your calculator say in degrees mode you should find you get 37.87 and so on degrees. So given this to two significant figures that's going to be 38 degrees to two significant figures, 2SF for short. And if you were to draw this out accurately it would look something like this and you should be able to see that that angle theta that we've just worked out certainly looks about 38 degrees. You can measure it with a protractor if you like. Well there you go, nice easy formula to use. Don't forget if you want to see how this formula is derived then I do it in the accompanying video in this series. Okay.